The United States is truly becoming a powerhouse and the top player in quantum computing technology. So if you're interested in learning about the quantum computing company IonQ and why I'm invested in such a cool company that has the potential to make some serious money, then you'll want to hang around for this video and see what IonQ is currently in the midst of, especially now that IonQ and South Carolina Quantum have entered into an agreement to advance the quantum ecosystem in South Carolina. Why South Carolina though? Well, in 2023, South Carolina set aside millions of dollars for SC Quantum to develop a quantum-focused workforce to build quantum smart technologies in the state. So needless to say, South Carolina government and universities are very pro-quantum technology at the moment and plan on harboring more of this kind of research in the future. And if we even think back to last year, remember that INQ also announced the opening of the first dedicated quantum manufacturing facility in the United States, located in Seattle, Washington. And again, in that same year, INQ and the University of Maryland announced the grand opening of the National Quantum Laboratory, also known as QLab, to provide people access to their quantum computers. And even looking past the United States, INQ has had international partnerships with Quantum Basel in Switzerland, in addition to partnerships with South Korean universities and institutions. So INQ has definitely been making some big moves both domestically and internationally with their systems. But in this current South Carolina deal, INQ stated that they'd be providing their high-level quantum computing capabilities and professional services to SC Quantum partners, including academic institutions as well. And furthermore, both INQ and SC Quantum are going to be developing quantum-specific academic coursework for training members of the quantum economy. And also, they're going to be accelerating the introduction of quantum technologies within enterprise, startups, and industries across South Carolina. So with SC Quantum becoming the latest United States to partner with INQ, they're joining other states like Maryland and Washington for recognizing the need for quantum skill sets across business, government, and academia. And from Peter Chapman himself, the CEO and president of INQ, he said, and I quote, SC Quantum's partnership with INQ establishes a clear path for training and supporting the quantum workforce through academia and industry collaborations. International interest in quantum computing has grown exponentially in the recent years, driven by government-backed initiatives and support. Today's announcement signifies a momentous achievement in ensuring the United States, through projects like SC Quantum, maintains its leadership position in the quantum industry. So, like I said, the United States is truly becoming the number one leader in quantum technology, and I think it's going to be really cool to see how companies like INQ emerge over the next decade. But if you want to learn more about INQ and how they're actually investing in the real world adoption of quantum computers, then you'll want to check out this video right here where I go over just that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time.